Hello everyone, this is Jan from WP Mayor and today we're taking a look at the WooCommerce add-on for WP All Import. What this add-on does is allow you to import products from any XML or CSV file to WooCommerce. For those of you who've missed it, I'd like to mention that we actually reviewed the WP All Import core plugin a short while ago and I'm going to go ahead and post the link below the video so you can also take a look at that review too. All right, so let's take a look at what actually the features are in this add-on. So as we're going through the website here, we can see that there's a video tutorial, which I suggest that you take a look at. Basically, the developer of this plugin, Lewis Rheingold, will take you through the functionality of this add-on. Uh, we have some more features here, which an explanation of features actually which of course uh, is showing us how we can easily import thousands of, of products from our CSV or XML file directly into WooCommerce. What I liked about this plugin is that the WooCommerce um, interface was imported into WP All Import. So as you can see in the screenshot here, the interface is exactly the same. So it's very easy to just drag and drop uh, um, items from your CSV file into the fields of WooCommerce. So yeah, it's actually really has every feature you may need from such a plugin. I haven't come across anything similar, so it's probably pretty unique and in this niche and quite useful because you can imagine you can start a whole store and import all the products with just a few steps as I'll show you in a few moments. Okay, so we're ready to begin. I have um, installed WP All Import with the WooCommerce add-on and I have also obviously installed WooCommerce. So the first step to do is to upload a file containing our records. And this is my data feed. As you can see, it's composed of XML records of my products. So it's uploaded, hit the next button. And we have the XML tree. And there are 366 elements to import. So the XML tree contains all the data with regards to our product, including variants. So each, each product might have a number of variants, which as we can see here are mainly size and color variants. Hit the next button and in the next screen we are going to choose the post title and post content. Again this is very easy, you just drag the product name field and do product title here and the long description goes into the content area. We can also check out a preview very simple preview, but we can see that both the title and the content have been imported successfully. Hit the next button and we'll go to step four. Step four is where we start seeing the real power of the WooCommerce add-on for WP All Import. The first thing we should note is that there's the WooCommerce products tab showing up now since we have the add-on installed and through this tab, we can import our products into WooCommerce. As you can see, there's the WooCommerce interface, which has been left intact here within WP All Import. And this is a very uh, good thing since people who are used to inserting products manually in WooCommerce will find the interface exactly the same. So no misunderstandings here. So let's go ahead and insert a variable product since we have the variations in our expat. These are the variations for each product. And let's start by inserting the general information about the product first, starting with the SKU, which is a unique identifier for the product. Then we go ahead and add the, re the retail price, which is right here and the state price. Now, the next thing is to add variations. 
variations, we can add through the, this option here, which is variation is a child element. Why did we select this? Because uh, a variation here is a child of the product XML item. So again, we add the SKU number. Actually, if we add, we need to add the expat first. And we have our variation records. As you can see here, the size might be changing or the color might also be a factor in, uh, in changing. So let's go ahead and enter the SKU from this interface here. And we can also enter the regular price and the state price. All right, so that's the main information about the variation. Then, of course, we need to enter the two main variants, which are color and size. Starting with size, I just drag and drop the element and do the same for color. So that's done. Now we also need to set some other information about the product in general. First thing is the category. We have category, subcategory, and product groups here, here in the uh, expat. So we have to mimic that in our WooCommerce store by adding categories and subcategories. So what I'm doing here is creating a new category and marking it as a subcategory by moving it to the right of the previous one. So I'm adding the subcategory and the product group here. All right, so our categories are done. We have added our variations. Now we need to enter the images for each product. As you can see, there's the image URL here. And I'm also gonna tick this checkbox here. So if no images are downloaded successfully, create entry as draft, which means that if no images are found, then the post or product won't be published. So also this, this record here, automatic record matching. What does that mean? It means that if another record is found with the same SKU, in this case, something unique, then we need to decide what to do. In this case, we're gonna set the update existing records instead of creating a duplicate, which we don't want, of course. All right, so we should be ready there and it's time to proceed with the import by clicking the finish button as usual and our import process will start. I've got around 366 elements to be imported, including images, so it might take a few minutes. So I'll see you at the end of the import and we'll take a look at what's been imported. The product import is now finished and we can see the products. These are all products that have been imported through WP All Import and everything looks perfect. So I'm gonna go ahead and check the details of each product and let's see. So we've got the title, we've got the long description, we've got the product categories imported successfully, we've got the featured image and let's check out the variations. Yes, the variations are also included. So we can see that these are the different shoe sizes in this case and they have their own price and everything looks just great. Let's take a look at how this looks on the front end. So this is my footwear page. We can see a number of items here, which this has all been imported through a default installation of WP All Import, the WooCommerce add-on and WooCommerce itself. I'm using the default WordPress template. So really, it's really impressive what I've been able to create in just five minutes of work. And let's go ahead and take a look at one of these items. So we can see the image, the title, categories, the description, 
and related products. Let's check out another one which might have variations. Yep, the variations are showing up. There are the size and color. And we can add them to cart. It's being added to the cart. So that's all really. We've got a fully functional e-commerce website just in a, just a few steps with importing uh, an XML or CSV file through WP All Imports. I have to say that I have been impressed by this uh, plugin, both the WP All Import core plugin plus the WooCommerce add-on. It's really very easy to import like thousands of products if you want. And I highly recommend it for, for this purpose. So let's take a look at the pricing of WP All Import WooCommerce add-on. So here's the pricing page for WP All Import. So the first thing we should note is that there's a 30 day refund policy. So there's a 100% uh, money back guarantee right there. And there's also a special price which uh, goes until July 5th. And WP All Import can be purchased for $99 only. WP All Import plus the WooCommerce add-on is one to nine, which is really an excellent price. So you're just uh, paying an extra $30 for the WooCommerce add-on. And for the normal pricing, WP All Import is normally $100 more or $199 and $269 with the WooCommerce add-on. So I really urge you to go ahead and order as soon as possible. So there's a, the, the license itself is a lifetime license. So you get access to technical support, documentation, downloads, and automatic updates for the lifetime of the product. And you can also buy the WooCommerce add-on at, at a later stage after buying WP All Import. And the, the price for w, the WooCommerce add-on on its own as a later add-on to what you have purchased is $49. I think the, the value delivered by this plugin is really great. So I see no issue with these prices. In fact, it's very much worthwhile if you are trying to import. Uh, I think it's actually quite a unique plugin as well. So that really makes it very, very valuable to everyone who is setting up a WooCommerce store. My final words on this plugin. First of all, again, I want to reiterate how simple it was for me to just go ahead and import my products. I found it really, really useful and uh, intuitive. So for anyone who does want to import an XML file or a CSV file into WooCommerce, this plugin is highly recommended. Support is excellent, so go ahead and get this product if you want to import products into WooCommerce. See you for the next one.